25 years later, Rhode Island is waving hello to a new license plate. The change or similarities have a lot of people talking. The new design also featuring five waves and dual tones. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer has more on what the people of the Ocean State are talking about. Brittany. Well, Mike, according to the state, the winning design here received more than half of the votes. Today, 12 News put together a survey of our own where thousands of people shared their opinions, more than 90% saying they don't like this plate or preferred a different option. Rhode Island's reaction is no day at the beach for the state's first new license plate in a quarter century. Didn't make a, a very big leap on that plate, did they? It's all right. I was disappointed. Officials say the design will market how other states view the ocean state. Providence resident Will Turbot tells me there are better ways to spend state dollars. This is a frivolous expenditure. It's, it's really tough because you have these marketing gurus and they want to pick the aesthetic that's going to get the most people over here around. A DMV spokesman tells me close to three 300,000 people voted with 155,000 casted for the winner. Kelsey Amarenta says she voted, but not for the wave. A different design, and that's what I was hoping for. There were like many other choices that could be used. Yeah, so did so, you vote? I did, I did. I voted, and I believe I did vote for the uh, Newport Bridge because it was different, you know? So I, I was looking for something fresh. The DMV tells me residents could cast their pick an unlimited number of times. They also tell me tomorrow at noon, the state will be releasing all 940 design submissions to the public. It'd be cool, I guess, have like a, a cool plate, something a little more interesting than just a wave, but I don't know, we are the ocean state, so a wave is relevant, I suppose. And the state tells me this new plate design will be on cars and hitting the roads starting late summer. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. It looks like a lot of you are not particularly impressed by the new Rhode Island license plate design. We've been running an online survey all day asking you what you think of the new plate, which the governor and the DMV announced yesterday as the winning design. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer tells us the results and what people are saying on the streets. Brittany. Well, Mike, Kim, the winning plate received over 155,000 votes compared to just 61,000 for second place. Today, we posted a survey where thousands of you weighed in. Here's what we saw in that survey. 56% preferred a different design. 36% say you didn't like the winning design, while 4% say that you loved it. Rhode Islanders are waving goodbye to the old and hello to the similar looks a lot like the the old one didn't look like they changed a whole lot on it so uh didn't didn't make a, a very big leap on that plate did they opinions are crashing in over the state's new wave license plate design some are accepting it's all right not too different from the other one but it looks nice other residents aren't too sure i was disappointed because i was like like i said i was looking for something newer you know more like a standing out of who we are. Kelsey Amarenta was one of 300,000 people who voted on the DMV survey. The winning wave wasn't her first choice. I did vote for the uh, Newport Bridge because it was different, you know, so I, I was looking for something fresh. But the state says the plate got around 50% of the vote. A spokesperson for the DMV tells me residents could cast their pick an unlimited amount of times. Designer Willem Van Lanker of South Kingstown says the five waves represents the state's five counties. Marenta moved to the Ocean State the same time the last plate was unveiled 25 years ago and says she needs time to harbor doubts. I don't know what was the point of it, so making us the wave smaller, maybe? So, I don't know. You know, it's not, I mean, I know majority vote for it, but it's like, you know, vote for something that makes sense. Otherwise, just leave it like it is. If you cannot bring something different, then just leave it as it is. And a DMV spokesman says the new plates will be on the roads by late summer. He also tells me tomorrow at noon, the state will be releasing all 940 design submissions to the public. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.